introduction to gas dynamics first we will see what is the difference between incompressible flow and compressible flow in incompressible flow the density of the fluid rho is assumed to be constant and the incompressible flow is governed by bernoulli's equation by bernoulli's equation which is e plus half rho v square is equal to constant along the streamline in deriving this particular equation we assume that the fluid is incompressible and by incompressible we mean that the density of the fluid is constant throughout the flow in general the fluid is incompressible if the mark number m is less than 0.3 so this was incompressible flow now we move forward to compressible flow in compressible flow the density of the fluid will no more be constant that means the density varies along the flow and that is why the compressible flow is also called variable density flow it is also called variable density flow and by all practical purposes we consider the fluid compressible if the mark number of the flow is greater than 0.3 next we will see the concept of compressibility to understand compressibility consider this fluid element of volume b on which the surrounding fluid is applying pressure p now let's assume that the pressure of the surrounding fluid increases to p plus dp the pressure increase is very small dp and it is common sense that if we apply more pressure the volume of the fluid element will decrease let's call it dv so the final volume of the fluid element will be v minus dv so the compressibility tau is defined as minus 1 by v dv by dp or we can also write minus dv by v divided by dp from here we can write the definition of the compressibility which is fractional change in the volume of the fluid element per unit change in pressure if the compression is isothermal the compressibility will be called isothermal compressibility and it will be denoted by tau t is equal to minus 1 by v bracket do v by do p at constant temperature similarly if the compression is isentropic entropy is constant during the compression then the compressibility will be called isentropic compressibility which is defined by minus 1 by v do v by do p at constant entropy now in the first formula we can also put rho is equal to 1 by v so our first equation will become tau is equal to 1 by rho d rho by dp we can also write this as d rho is equal to rho into tau into dp now let us compare the values of compressibility for liquid and gases for liquid for example tau of water is 5 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter square per newton and for gases for example tau of air is 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per newton so you can see that there is a large difference between the values of tau for liquids and tau for gases what does it mean to understand that look at this equation in this equation for given dp for given change in pressure the change in density d rho for water for example will be very less because 
it is of the order of 10 to the power minus 10 in other way we can say that for the flow of liquid relatively large pressure gradients can create high velocity without much change in density that is the fluid if it is liquid is almost incompressible but for gases the value of tau which is of the order of 10 to the power minus 5 which is almost 10 to the power 4 times more than that of liquids that is why if the change in pressure is moderate to strong given the dp for the gases the density of the gas will substantially change and in all practical examples if the density variation of any fluid exceeds 5 percent then that fluid is considered as compressible.